How to Replace an ADS Triton Plus Battery Pack The steps for replacing the battery pack include removing the monitor from the manhole, opening the monitor canister and removing the used battery, swapping the battery PCB board from the used battery to the replacement battery, lowering the replacement battery into the canister, connecting the battery to the monitor lid, closing the Triton Plus monitor, and reinstalling the monitor in the manhole. Manhole and sewer system work involves confined space entry and is inherently dangerous. Therefore, installers and technicians should comply with all federal, state, and municipal regulations concerning confined space entry. The only replacement battery approved for use in the Triton Plus monitor is the ADS 12 volt IS battery pack, part number 8000 0043 02. Remove the Triton Plus from the manhole. Wipe away any debris on the monitor lid. Unwrap the stretch tape and disconnect the antenna. Next, disconnect sensor cables noting which sensor is connected to which channel, if there are multiple sensors attached. Then move the monitor at least 20 feet from the manhole and place it in a dry location. Once the Triton Plus is a safe distance away from the manhole, Make a note of the orientation of the communications port and the molded mounting flange on the monitor canister. You will want to position the monitor lid back in the same orientation after replacing the monitor battery. Loosen the 13 millimeter lid bolts and remove the lid pulling it straight up from the canister ensuring that the bolts remain in the monitor lid. Inspect the canister lip and clean if necessary. Using the white strap, lift the battery straight out of the canister and place it next to the monitor. Place the lid in a clean, dry location. Wait until there is no activity on the monitor LED and disconnect the battery power cable. Lift the retainer plug from the top of the battery. Disconnect the PCB from the battery pack by carefully moving the thick red band, securing the PCB to the battery pack and disconnecting the PCB's white plastic connector. Set the PCB aside in a clean, dry location. Unbox the replacement battery. Connect the PCB to it and secure the PCB to the battery by carefully lifting the thick red rubber band over the PCB card. Feed the loose end of the battery cable through the slot in the retainer plug and then seat the retainer plug on top of the battery pack. Be sure to pull all excess cable through the plug before fully seating the plug. Check to make sure the battery pad is still in position at the bottom of the monitor canister. Connect the cable from the battery pack to the monitor lid and lower the battery pack into the monitor can. Coil the excess cabling around the inner wall of the canister and carefully lower the monitor lid back onto the canister, positioning it in its original orientation with the communications port aligned with the molded mounting flange. Double check that the battery cable is not pinched between the top and the can. Finger tighten the lid bolts to make sure the lid and the gasket are sealed properly. Bolts should be tightened in a star pattern to prevent gasket distortion. Do not over tighten as over tightening could distort the protective gasket. Tighten the bolts to 30 inch pounds. Once the battery is installed in the monitor, and the monitor is securely sealed, move the monitor to the side of the manhole. Reconnect the antenna and wrap rubber stretch tape around the entire antenna connector, extending the tape one to two inches above the cable connection point. Reconnect the sensor cables, making sure you reconnect the sensor cables to the same channels they were originally connected to. To check the new battery voltage, Activate the diagnostic codes in the LED status window by using the blue magnet. 
the battery voltage appears after four Bs and should be 11 volts or above. Once the new battery voltage has been verified, reinstall the monitor in the manhole. ADS is committed to protecting and improving the environment by recycling commonly used items such as batteries. Please contact your local government for the proper battery disposal and recycling practices in your area. For more information on how to replace an ADS Triton Plus battery pack, refer to the ADS Triton Plus Operations and Maintenance Manual or contact ADS Client Services.